Hey dudes, welcome back to the mothership. I uh, wanted to uh, put out a video here for a couple of reasons. The first one, and I'm sure if you've watched my other videos, uh, you'll be well aware of, I have upgraded my camera. So this video is going to sure, serve as a bit of a uh, demo for me and you know, kind of a reintroduction of some riding videos. So I, uh, I was filming before on a, a, uh, a Hero 4. I don't even think it was a black, I think it was a silver. Um, and I'm currently, what you're watching right now, is a, a uh, GoPro 9. So, quite a leap forward, and I'm hoping very much worth it. I'm it is. But uh, yeah, if you guys are looking looking at recording some of your stuff, and you want to see if it's worth upgrading a new video, or a new camera from whatever you've got, I will do a little bit of editing here, but not a ton. You know, I'm not gonna go crazy doing color correction and stuff, so this is a pretty stock, uh, stock footage with this camera. So, that was number one. Got that out of the way, guys. Awesome. Number two. I kind of wanted to have a little, little chat here. And while I'm pretty much chatting by myself, I'm uh, hoping you guys weigh in a little of what I'm going to say here. But I kind of want to talk about what uh, what's next. What do I want to do next on my bicycle? Hmm. Well little backstory if you're new new to the channel I uh, this is my first bike this is a 2020 iron 883 um, so far I've done some, some cosmetic stuff you know changing stuff like gas caps put an engine guard on and all that but uh, oh and some safety junk I replaced the lights because they're garbage um, and at some point I'll put a video up on that comparing the LEDs I ended up with with the Amazon Wismatics to the actual Daymakers, which I think are a really close contender, honestly. If, you, uh, if you're looking for, for new lights and you don't really want to spend the Harley tax of 300 bucks, that's a pretty good choice. So, look forward to that someday. Um, but as far as performance on this bike, um, I changed my exhaust. So I put the Cobra 909 Speedster um, 2 to 2 exhaust on here, which sounds phenomenal. I got a video up if you're interested in looking into something different than Vance and Hines, that's a good one. In my opinion, I think it sounds awesome. Um, and I did my air intake with a Harlan Ness Big Sucker. It's a pretty windy day today. I hope uh, my audio doesn't sound like garbage. I'm also trying out a new mic. I'm going with the Purple Panda, guys. It's, uh, a pretty popular mic for this kind of stuff. Um, and then yeah, so the last piece to, to clean up that whole stage one upgrade, I uh, I used the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle tuner kit. Did it myself, it was not difficult. Um, if you want to preserve your warranty, which was kind of my thought process, if you want to preserve your warranty, you can do it yourself. Just go buy it from Harley and then once you plug it in, you're if you plug in an aftermarket one, your VIN number kind of gets redlined and all kinds of bad stuff happens. As far as your warranty, they don't have to honor it, which is pretty stupid, but I think it's an EPA thing or something like that. Um, so yeah, that, that was my stage one upgrade. So what's next? Man, it is windy today. Um, yeah, so what's next? Well, I'm kind of thinking of it all in, in like... Uh, of a shorter term, a medium term, and a longer term. So short term. Well, there's one thing about this bike that I feel like I need to address from a safety perspective, basically. And that would be my handlebars. So everybody does one thing when they buy this bike, right? They flip them over like I did here. And that does help tremendously. The problem is that my height and kind of my, uh, my size here, Still not great. I still gotta move my head a bit to be able to see. So I kind of like them just over out a bit. So maybe if I can find something that uh, that moves them out just a tad, that would be ideal. I really want to keep that classic style though. You see some guys that have them that like freaking bat wing. It's just the worst. Not not for me. So that might be the real short term. Um, but if we start thinking about you know, longer term stuff. So if we're going to like medium term, don't you do it, don't you do it, good. 
Um, so if we're thinking about longer term, you know, I live in New England and it's gonna get cold and there's gonna be days where I can't ride. So those are the perfect days for me to get out and work on the bike. So one thing people really like about these bikes are the drag bars, this style, that's kind of a cafe look, people love it. Unfortunately for me, I'm taller. It's not the most comfortable for longer riding. So I, I'm, I'm not even I think, I'm definitely going to change them out for something taller up. Probably closer to like what comes standard on the Street Bob or the 1200, Iron 1200. Something taller up, just to be a little more comfortable. Um, but unfortunately, I think if I go to that height, it's going to, uh, what for? it's going to require me to do some cable adjustments, whether that's throttle or, um, or like my little clutch over here. Um, I'll probably have to do something there, so that might end up being a little larger job than I'd want, but, oh well, it'll be fun. Um, but that kind of begs the question, if I'm going to do that, uh, as I mentioned, and as you can see from these beautiful leaves, I'm in New England, and it's it does get real cold here, real cold, um, and I'd like to extend my riding kind of as long as possible, so... My biggest issue with cold isn't really like my body or feet or anything, it's just my fingers. I have really bad circulation in my fingers, so gloves don't really do anything for me past a certain point. So I'm thinking, you know, heated gloves. I do have a pair of, of nice Milwaukee heated gloves. The problem is they're just not motorcycle gloves. They, they don't have as much tactile as I, I really want. So there are a couple of companies, Harley Davidson included, who make heated handlebar grips. So, I might be exploring that. And the reason I'm bringing that up in the, kind of the same sentence as, uh, same sentence as handlebars is I don't really want to do it more than once. That sounds terrible. So if I'm going to do my handlebars, I'm going to do it all at once. I don't really want to, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that all the time. So, if I'm going to do it once, I'm going to do it once. So, maybe we'll talk about that at some point in the future when I do more, a little more research. But, that's an entirely possible, uh, see how I looked at my mirror right there? Yeah, that's how I have to look at the mirror. Kind of take my head completely off the road and look down. Not ideal. Um, yeah, so handlebars, it's definitely a medium term. Probably something I'll do over the winter. Um, when I can get my bike up off the jack and I'm not gonna really want to get out and ride because it's freezing and icy. And then longer term. Longer term, you know, I have no illusions more than anyone else. I'm gonna do what everybody does on these bikes and I'm gonna work on the motor. I'm gonna do stage at least a stage two or three maybe a four um i'm definitely going to convert this engine to 1200 maybe hell maybe i'm gonna go crazy and do the 120 horsepower performance kit that hammer makes but um i doubt it um i just haven't done a ton of research yet so as far as i can tell people really seem to like the uh the kit made by hammer um, I know Screaming Eagle makes one, but it's, I think it's more expensive than the s and one and the Hammer one. And I don't think the performance you get out of it in the end is that great, comparatively. So, you know, why not go with the aftermarket? Well, you don't go with the aftermarket because it will definitely void your warranty. So, if I'm trying to, you know, hold on to that, I didn't buy an extended warranty, I never do that. But, just the back stockery one, if you're trying to hold on to that, um, I might have to go with the Scream Eagle. I don't think I will. I think if I'm going to do it, the hammer sounds like the way to go. Uh, so that's that's a thought. Other than that, you know, those are like the big, big changes I'm looking at the bike. There's some other cosmetic stuff, like, I know a lot of you are going to say sacrilegious, but I'd like to get some color on this bad boy. Maybe get like some cool pink stripes or something, but uh, crazy. I've also, I was gifted a indicator relocation kind of thing so it sits down and moves that fairing over the uh over the light kind of makes it more of that cafe look um i would have done that already if i wasn't sure how it was going to look with taller handlebars it might look kind of funky so i haven't done that yet i, I need to pursue looking into that a little bit more but other than that i mean i'm not sure what else really i, I want to do other than you know people do tank lifts and wire wraps and all that kind of fun stuff i could look into that um I definitely like to do some some more gear reviews for you guys. I've got a whole bunch of stuff lined up that I'm going to start pumping out some videos on. 
because you know it's kind of really where I want this channel to be. I want I want to have an interaction with with you guys. If you guys are interested in talking back, I'd love to. I'd love to hear more about you know stuff that you guys are interested in. What are your thoughts on stuff? And then as I go out and buy junk, uh, I do a lot of research on things before I go and pull the trigger. So I may as well share some of that research with somebody else before you go and plot your hard-earned cash down. And I will be critical of everything. I'm not gonna bullshit you on stuff that's not worth getting. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's really, yeah, that's kind of the point of this whole thing. At least my point of this whole thing. Woo, hello. So, you know, not a very long video, not a ton here. Um, it's, it's really about it. Uh, if you guys, um, if you guys enjoyed this, if you guys liked the footage, if you guys want to see some of the new stuff that I come up with, a subscription would be fantastic. You know, it's the best way to help the channel grow is to subscribe. Um, subscriptions are what makes 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 me happy. So a subscription would be fantastic. Um, but if you just like this video and you're not ready to subscribe, a like would be cool. A comment would be even better. I'm more interested, even more interested in the subscription. I'm more interested to hear from you guys and start a dialogue with you folks. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on other things I should do on this bike, or if you have any thoughts on stuff you did on your bike you hated or you loved, let me know. What are your thoughts on the camera? Is it is it worth upgrading from my last one? I think so. Do you think it's worth upgrading from an eight? Uh, I don't know. I didn't upgrade from an eight, but maybe. So yeah, get in there. Drop me a subscription if you're be awesome. Drop me a like at least, and at the very least, leave me a comment, guys. But uh, that's it. Ride safe, dudes.